Hi, <clears throat> hi, it's Hazel. Welcome to my channel and welcome to day 55. Can you believe it? Day 55 of the 100 Day Project. What I'm doing today is a little bit um, different, I guess, in that I want to adapt the idea of this art piece that I did several years ago to sort of a paper version that could be worked into a junk journal. Now, um, I'll talk a bit about this and then show you how I prepped a paper version. Now, this was done on Masonite. And uh, for those of you who have ever used Masonite for art, know that you want the unprimed stuff. Um, and that one side is rough and one side is smooth. And depending on the sort of finish you want, will determine which side you want. Now, I don't know whether you can see or not, but there is a fair bit of texture here. So, looks like I used the back side. Now, each of these little squares are an inch in size. So, three, six, so eight by eight. Um, there's a combination of... Well, what I can see here is some ribbon that had a sort of a lacy edge to it, some rubber stamping, some sequins, some wrapping paper, um, obviously buttons, some of my own printing or handwriting. Uh, this is this and this are washi tape. There are some splatters. Uh, these um, fabric flowers. And uh, this is fabric because I can see the sort of the, um, salvage edge there. And you can see that there is some dimension. Now... <coughs> Excuse me, I've done this in colors that I like. I've said that more than once, I know, the hot pink and the orange combination. And um, I don't have a, a any hanging system on the back of it, never framed the edge, although obviously it was gessoed or painted, I can't remember which. So this could easily be propped on a bookcase or, you know, something like that just for a splash of color. So then I thought, okay, how can how can this be adapted so it'll be usable in a junk journal? So basically what I started with, now I guess I should have checked my um, the size of my square, or not square, my square punch before I cut my uh, cardstock. And that is like craft colored cardstock. Because my square punch is not an inch, it's an inch and a quarter. So by cutting a six by six, I ended up having to um, chop off a couple of sides. So now the squares are not symmetrical, so that <clears throat> is not ideal. I suppose I could cut it down further. And in fact, that might be a better idea because then that would give me five inches. Yeah, that would give me five inches, and um, we know that that's easier to accommodate in a journal. So maybe what I should do, geez, if I would have thought of that before I turned on the camera, I could have saved a couple of minutes doing it that way. I'm doing five, and five. Oh, I should do it in two places. just heard the trike pull up so if I have to stop because my husband walks in then you know that'll mean take two. Oh, wrong yeah that's good but it should be on this side sorry about that okay. 
hear some banging and carrying on out there, but maybe he won't come into the house. Okay, I'm just, because there's no point in me working on something that's going to end up getting cut out, cut off in the end. So, um, you probably noticed that basically I just used three or four different varieties. On, and of course, this will be good for something. Three or four varieties off. Uh, papers with numbers and or you know sort of graphic type uh, like graphs or equations or whatever and very neutral in color so what I did in preparation for this was assemble everything except the kitchen sink and if I could have gotten that here I would have so I have you know obviously glue I have a makeup uh, sponge if necessary. You, uh, if you're watching the videos daily, you will know that I use this fabric ink um, in a recent video. So I have that handy because I thought that that color could be perfect. I have, same video, I also use this uh, 3D paint and this is in gold. I have a number of metallic, uh, well, and orange pens. I have postage stamps and these tiny little um, paper cutouts, paper squares. I have some fussy cuts. I have some fabric also that you would have seen and maybe recognized from recent videos because all of these things were still kicking around on my desk. So what, what my first step is going to be is to basically just lay down some, some items um, to create some texture because I don't remember what my process was, but that's the only thing that makes any sense. So then I can, um, as this thing begins taking shape, I can bring in some color either with that, um, with that paint, that, that fabric ink that I showed you. I also have this. This is only about 30 years old, light peaches and cream. So there's that acrylic, sorry, that acrylic paint. I have this, which I got in a, uh, an auction lot. This is the one that has the thing on the end that looks like a, you know, a shoe polish <laughs> type of adapter. And uh, these distress inks in a variety of colors that I think will work. But first things first, let's get some of this glued down. Now, I, I want, because on this pink one, one of the last things I did was obviously go over the connections to emphasize them. So whether that was, um, I can't tell what that was. If that is paint with a like a liner type brush, or if that was uh, an ink marker like a Posca pen or something like that. But, you know, obviously it emphasizes the grid nature off the off the um off the design so might be a bit of a challenge getting some of this crinkly stuff down but i like um the idea of using this shear because obviously it will allow what's underneath to show through And again, it doesn't matter if it's not entirely contained within the one and a quarter inches. Some of the pieces I intend to use are smaller than that. So 
uh, some of the things will be layered to, oops, to um, you know, do a better job of filling the space. And again, it's a typical thing, you know, much like any other any lay, other layout that a person is doing where you're kind of, you know, cognizant of the, maybe it's easier to put it on here, cognizant of the distribution of design or color. Now, I only, you know, sort of pre-selected pre um, Boy, that didn't do a very good job. Um, Pre-selected one, two, three, about three. Oh, for heaven's sake. About three different fabrics, again, because they were, they were handy and sheer. So I think that this is going to be really cute in the end because it'll be textural, it will be flat, like I don't intend to to obviously put anything on there remotely as as thick as those buttons. I think I'll just trim this a bit on the sides, like I kind of like that frayed, fringy area. side this thing has a crease in it and oops, and is uh, not very cooperative but we have ways to make it work and again I think um, the sheer nature of this fabric is going to be a plus here Okay, what else? Oh, I've got this uh, stuff that looks like twill tape. I don't know if it is or not, but. And this I'm thinking might be better, since it's so opaque, um, this would be better to layer under something. So maybe I'll leave that for a second, get the rest of the color and the pattern down, and um, then see how I want to use that. I might need to trim it down so it's not so you know, so it doesn't cover up totally what's underneath. Here I am trying it on the fabric again. Don't know why. Didn't work that well last time. Uh Hmm. Oh, heck, let's just put it here. If I need more, I can get more. And I also have a couple pieces of this. But again, I'll leave that for layering. I have a bit of... Oh, and I also have this, which I really like. Maybe I should cut this in half because it's sort of the wrong shape. But again, maybe that's something, you know, better. Okay, I'm not going to agonize over this because it will uh, make the video too long and it is not rocket science.
it's like I have, sometimes when you try to glue this stuff down, it feels like you put glue on the wrong side. It just does such a lousy job of sticking. So these uh, pages are from little tiny books um, in one of my hauls. I scored a couple of cute little books that have um, mortgage tables in them, <laughs> you know, amortization tables, which is pretty cool. I mean, <laughs> I, I didn't study it that carefully to see if there's anything resembling the rates that um, we currently have, or uh, if you're old enough, you may remember that in the 80s, mortgage rates or, or loan rates like prime and, and the resulting <clears throat> loan rates were so crazy. They're, you know, on sort of large loan shark type rates. Um, I remember we bought a tractor. I don't know exactly what year. It was the early 80s. And the loan was at 18%. <laughs> interest like it's not is that not the stupidest thing you've ever heard like how how is that even possible and what was the darn thing worth by the time you know i can't remember how long the loan was for but my goodness talk about adding to the to the cost of the the cost of the item like out of fifth, basically. Um, okay. Another thing that I thought was really cute are these um, big sequins. And I don't know, you can probably see that that one is sort of translucent. So I thought, you know, this is kind of when the layering can come into this. Um, so basically, just referring back to this pink one, there are, every square has something, you know, it might just be some textural, you know, a couple color changes in there, like pink and purple here, um, a smidge of, of paper showing through. Uh, and then, of course, there are others that have something, you know, like a honking big flower on there. So I guess I shouldn't worry too much if I do end up with something in every square because there's so many good things to use here. I don't want to have to really, um, you know, I don't want to have to hold myself back. Uh, a long time ago... My daughter went to Europe in uh, one of those, uh, on one of those school, you know, uh, field trips kind of thing. Um, and their trip was to Italy and Greece. So I volunteered to be a uh, parent chaperone because I thought, well, how am I going to get there otherwise if I don't go? So... Anyway, so she took a lot of photos, you know, always had kind of a good DSLR photo uh, camera, took a lot of photos. Um, anyway, eventually graduates from high school, gets, you know, one condo, a second condo, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, has places to, um, you know, to decorate. So one of the things that I was doing at the time was image transfers um, using black and white photocopies. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they had to be, yeah, they had to be done on a laser copier. And so, of course, she had sort of specified the different, you know, you can use this, 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 this. She also, I also had um, a piece of glassware that had, um, you know, mosaic glass. So these little papers that, that you see me gluing down here are the leftover pieces. Like I did her a, a great big canvas, 
probably I'd say five feet wide and and maybe two or th well maybe three feet tall and she's had it all these for all these years um, and it's mixed media so there's um, you know some stencil work on there a modeling paste and I use these little bits you know arranged in in rows as a mosaic type thing in a couple of places around this painting. So <laughs> how many years later is it? I still have these the leftovers and now I'm finally using them. And at this point this is pretty pretty random what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to to get some of these things laid down because it's just really the first, is that a bit bright? Maybe so. It's, um, it's just the first layer, there's much more to come. I also have some of these uh, fabric flowers in a couple of colors that would work. So, and did I mention the postage stamps? I have those as well. And a few of these type, whoops, um, you know, sort of these, well, I guess they're stickers, but they've long, long since lost their, their stick them. Okay, so I have a few that don't have any element on them yet. Maybe I'll put some stamps down just for the heck of it. And again, I guess I shouldn't concern myself too much about staying within the boundaries of the square because I can easily enough draw my line or or whatever I end up using you one of those metallic pens perhaps I can easily you know just zip right over what I have uh, what I've glued down so there's nothing that says that I can't you know again overlap those invisible boundaries So you may be wondering, well, what is what is the ultimate purpose here? And um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, now that it's five by five, um, it could be certainly a pocket, you know, a fairly big pocket, or maybe on a fairly big page. Um. Or, um, I don't know, it just, it could just be a, a decoration smack dab in the middle of a, of a page. Uh, maybe with, a, you know, uh, basically serve as a tuck spot or something. Or maybe it could be uh, a hinge added and, a, and, a f and be a flip of some sort. So... Really, build it, and the idea will come. <laughs> does, does that sound at all familiar? Okay, maybe let's put a couple more stamps on, and then we will switch to another thing here. I'm making it, you know, after hoarding stamps for quite a long time and, and buying stamp collections and having my own stamp collection, I am finally, um, <laughs> I'm finally using them. Fancy that. Um, and also uh, have put together stamp packs in my Etsy shop that are grouped by color. And I tried to do a good selection of, you know, uh, stamps with monarchs on them, um, with, uh, you know, 
birds or animals, those kinds of pictorial ones, as well as commemorative ones, um, just with the whole idea of, you know, like, what? Is, why is a person saving them, you know? So that's why I went through and picked out a bunch that I thought could could be good here. Let's put that one there. And it, whoops, and it may be I'm going to tuck it under that little fringe. It may be that I don't need to do a wash of color over this. I should actually Okay, what does it say here? Shake well before using. Quick and easy and cover your backgrounds in large area. Mist with water to lighten color and create model of background. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> so this was probably the same. Okay. Distress stain. Distress oxide. Distress mica spray. So I think basically kind of the same sort of concept as what we currently have, but they've just maybe changed the the way the color is delivered. Okay, so that would be good. Um, anyway, not there yet. Okay, so maybe it's time to start adding some of these more uh, textural things. Okay, let's get rid of those. I didn't use any of the sequins yet. I thought they might be nice. Maybe that would be better over something like that. Oh, I still have something, nothing, nothing there. Maybe that's a place for something like this. This is one of those stamped images that I had left over from something else. Um, how would this look together? Maybe that takes away from my favorite. I also have this from a ledger. Hmm. Maybe that should be a standalone. Or maybe I could put a gold. No, let it be a standalone. talking as though I'm trying to convince you. I'm the one that needs convincing. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> if you watched yesterday's video, was that only yesterday? Um, it was the one on oh my goodness, everything. Oh yeah, using this fabric ink. And without paying any attention whatsoever to what my phone was doing or not doing, I discovered, <laughs> who knows when, that the, that the phone was no longer taping. I'm thinking, what the heck happened? I didn't hear any, any little, uh, you know, signal that something was going wrong. And then afterwards, my husband says, well, why didn't you answer the phone? I said, well, it never rang for one thing. I says, oh, that's what happened. That's why the camera stopped um, filming. He was calling me. I guess he was out, you know, just out and about in the yard and saw a porcupine heading towards the house. And, of course, Rocky, the stray dog, was nearby and I think he had visions of another entanglement with uh, the porcupine and wanted me to find his 22. Um, so, of course, I didn't answer the phone, so then he comes into the house, and whatever. By the time he got his act together, every, you know, the porcupine was long gone which is kind of amazing considering how slow and pokey they are. But 
anyway, so yeah, that's definitely a hazard. Luckily, I don't get that many phone calls. Whoops. So, because I would be pretty choked if I had to, you know, lose a video every time I, the phone rang. Again, if you haven't heard me say it before, I've got this this problem where iPhones don't have a pause button. And I, of course, don't know anything about editing. So basically, you know, what you see is what you get. So I'm just using, I've got this really pale butterfly here, which is probably going to be lost on anything. I probably have way more here than I can actually use, but I also have these cute little charms. Uh, not charms, but, well, I guess these are, but those are just like little gears. Um... Fussy cut stuff. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't. Oh, and that's not attached. I probably shouldn't worry about any lines going through, or I could just stop the line and not go through a focal point. Executive decision. Ooh, gobbed kind of a lot of glue there. Straighten you up a little bit. Uh, where is that? Oh, here. So I hope that um, the weather that you're uh, encountering at home is what you, what you, your farmers, your gardeners need, not dangerous or destructive in any way. Um, I know it's hard to please everyone because there are some people that absolutely revel in the in the heat and the well, we just don't want any death or destruction, property damage, that sort of thing. So um uh, Plunk that one there. I probably should use our glitter glue for that. Yeah, it will probably look better if I do add the line. Whoops making this worse uh if i do add uh those lines on the you know where the the well we, i don't want to call them inches because they're not really inches but that's sort of the concept um uh, where those little squares intersect then i i would definitely avoid some of some of the areas just to create a sort of a different look. Yeah, see, I like that because you can see through it. This thing looks like it wants to lift up. In fact, that square. What's going on there, guys? So between a few of these gold things and the little fine gold th <clears throat> gold thread in this sheer one and the gold in this fabric, um, I think it, it really creates quite a nice, quite a nice look. Use 
use this too because of these fine little and these things I just um, I had some fussy cutting to do so I just basically look through it to see what might be the right size uh, a color that would work doesn't want to stick to this we this woven thing here I wish I'd have picked a better place for that clock um, it's almost like a person's face where it's looking outside the, the frame Maybe maybe nobody understands what I'm talking about, but that's just a quirk I have, I guess. I have this. Um, oh, I've forgotten the name of this flower. It seeds itself something fierce. Columbine. <clears throat> What do I win for remembering that? Yeah, it almost can be become invasive. But boy, there are a lot of pretty colors. Uh, one of the ones that I had was blue. So, you know, there aren't that many blue flowers out there. So to be able to, to get something blue that is, you know, has a good survival rate is... Um, a plus. Another blue flower that I love. <clears throat> and I need to buy one this year. Or two. Is uh, Scabiosa. <clears throat> Excuse me. Scabiosa. Or Pincushion Plant. Really delicate... Um, Delicate flowers. See, the impulse at this point is to think, well, kiddo, you've gone too far. But I'm not going to allow myself to do that because this is just kind of a first layer. Or maybe a second layer, <clears throat> because the first layer was the the paper with the numbers on it. I shouldn't be trying that hard to use this butterfly. It's not that attractive, to be honest. Okay. So maybe this... <clears throat> Okay, that is glued down. Maybe this ends up being my focal point because it is the largest. And I don't know whether you've ever been aware of something called the golden mean. It's basically saying that any... So in any, if this was a, a canvas or a piece of watercolor paper or something, that you can divide it into uh, thirds in each direction. And anywhere these lines intersect is a great place to put a focal point because, of course, it adds interest to it so that you know so basically that would be here or here here or here now I think because I'm right-handed I tend to go left um, so that would be my inclination which means that you know 
either size wise or uh, degree of contrast wise, that would be where the place that would get the most attention. But maybe what I should do, oh, and another thing that I have here, and I was hoping to use in some way, I um, ended up buying a lot of these, and they come in sheets of um, is it 10 or 12, 10 or 12 of these tickets that apparently back in the day were good for one loaf of bread. And and there's uh, the company name at the top of the of the sheet, and this is something that I've included in my. Oh, here's another piece of it. Um, included in my uh, ephemera starter kit for beginners. So that I mean, obviously it's too big, but one of these cut up could be part of something. Oh, and look at this. This is scotch tape that I salvaged from uh, some old wrapping paper. Is that not cool? So, I'm gonna use some of that too. And for, I think some of this was glued onto something pink, so it almost has, <laughs> You know, it has a different cast to it. So that might be something also to, to put under there. I don't know. We will see. But I think what I want to do in the meantime... Uh, do I have a spray bottle here? Oh, yes, I do. So I just think I want to experiment a bit more with this before I... Okay, so what did it say? Um, a lightly press against surface to release liquid. Quick, easy ink coverage, blah, blah. Mist with water to lighten the color and create mottled effects. Apply layers of stain for more saturated color. Maybe I'll try this near the edge. Let's see what happens if we spritz. If we spritz. I don't know if that's so great. Ay, 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 ay. Part of a napkin. That's kind of try it in another spot. I don't know that that does much good to my some of these other things that I have. Just glued down. Maybe I want to do it, but mind you, it's so. I guess the the thing about that this top, maybe that's why it's been replaced. That it's such a little such a little circle. You kind of need the the. Um, The, uh, to spray it just to dissipate and, and soften the little round circle. I don't, I don't think I care for that very much in this one. Maybe I'm better off with... Okay, that's the metallic rose. So let's try this gold one. Just put a little t titch there. What can 
you see? Can you see a damn thing that I'm doing here? I'm just trying to sort of unify the, you know, bring a bit of the sort of the goldish tones to the areas that were still stark white. You know, so knock back, I should do the clock face too. Along the edge there. Now at the end, once I'm kind of happy with how it is, I could also use one of those distress sprays. You know, maybe the one I, what do I have here? That's vintage photo, but I have these mica ones. This one is tarnished brass. And this one is antique bronze, which would be more coppery. I also have this in uh, wild honey. That's walnut stain, so we don't want these, this, or this. Yeah, I like how that... I think that's doing I think that's doing something <laughs> isn't it nice when what you're when you do a technique technique and it does something maybe the jury is still out whether it was the right thing or not but okay I don't even know what where we're at time wise let's see Ooh, getting up there okay Another thing I have, which is this interesting, I don't know, what is it, yarn or something? In the past, I've taken it apart, like I've unwound this, excuse me, this little strand that has these variegated little sort of nubby things on them. Oh, Is it going to be too kitschy if I... Okay, let me separate a bit more of this. I'm going to try something. And then decide if I like it or not. Okay, let's cut a hunk of this off. And you can see that it goes from this really light, goldy color to kind of like a burnt oh almost a red okay so if I was making a floral bow and again I'm just thinking about building up this corner for see but I didn't think this through normally if I was making a bow Oh, another thing I have nearby is my thing of my whole pasta bin of, um, you know, diamonds. <laughs> diamonds in every color. See, normally I would have, if I was making a bow for any particular purpose, I would have a piece of wire ready. Do I have any wire within reach? When I don't want it, it's always here, getting in my way. Maybe I could use this little bit of raffia. Would have been good to have this pre-thought through. Ay, ay, ay. 
Now, see, the nice thing about a wire is that you just twist it a few times and you're done. You don't have to be farting around making knots. But so big loopy. I would cut that off, but let's just give this a try first, see if it even makes any sense. Maybe that goes there like that, and this goes here like this. I think that looks pretty darn cute. Oh, I didn't use any of this old tape. Okay, now mind you, that repeats the, that goes that way, so why don't we go this, go that way. Okay, I'm doing it, doing it. Now that sequin almost gets covered up, but that's okay. Tomorrow is my Manny Petty. So these hands will look a little bit better. And I'll be ready for sandal weather. I hope this glue isn't going to show through. I wonder if it's safe to let that little corner stick up. I hope so, because I intend to. <clears throat> yes. Yes, yes. Now, see, this would almost benefit from... Oopsie. Crud sticking to the tip of this. Okay, um, what am I trying to say here? What is this stuff called? Fabri-Tac. And because I filled the bottle up, it uh, doesn't take a day and a half for it to come to the point of the... Now, my inclination from my floral design days is not to secure any of this, to just let it be where it wants to be. I might want to tack, put a oh brother stuck to my finger and lift it. Um, I think this is going to be gorgeous. Oh, why is this lifting? Um, maybe because I got, I was wetting things. Yeah, look at that. The whole thing wants to lift up. can't have that. Okay. I like the way this thing is draping over here. So I'm just going to for heaven's sakes just when a person is in a hurry trying to get a video finished. Just going to put a dot here. 
you know, back in the day, a person would have used a glue gun. And I did rig up a thing where it can hang under my, in the knee hole of my desk. I just haven't, um, I haven't really bothered with, um, you know, plugging it in and heating it up and making sure that I'm not, that I have room to put it somewhere within reach safely without, you know, burning an elbow or something on it. Okay, pretty happy with that. But is this going to be enough by itself or do I need to do kind of a little, a little florally thing there? Two looks better. Two looks better. And I think it will be two. I don't like, I mean, I, I don't like the thought of that. Let's see if I can glue these two down without having any of the, off the uh, glue seep through. Wanted to grab without saturation. I've been watching a Netflix series called Unauthorized Living. I can't believe, I mean, you know, I think a lot of us sometimes think that, no, oh, we've all come from dysfunctional families in one, for one reason or another. But I'm telling you, we are all normal and righteous <laughs> compared to the scoundrels and the schemers and the liars that populate that show. Holy cow. Doesn't that leaf look a little cute there? And I don't know why I'm so mesmerized. Like I'm disgusted by the, the lack of scruples that any of these people have. I might have to put another little dabble, do you? Um, and in some ways, some of the scenes remind me of the, of the old days of soap operas where, I mean, there isn't the ominous piano playing in the background, or dum, 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 but, jeez, it's, I don't know. I like those leaves there, but... Is this gonna is this glue gonna have enough oomph to hold it down? That's that definitely feels like a job for a glue gun. Maybe I shouldn't should try to be a little more gin uh, apply this more gingerly. So less squeezes out. I mean, it's inevitable because this is more holes than it is solid, but. Holy cow, I used a lot of glue on this first one. I wonder if using a wet wipe at this point, oh, I hate when so many come out all at once.
This is either going to lift the surplus or it's going to release the whole darn thing. And maybe I shouldn't worry if there's a bit of shine there. Because if I use that mica spray, there will be shine anyway. Deliberate shine. seems like it's adhered pretty well. Okay. I didn't bring... Boy, that could be dangerous. I was going to say, I didn't bring my... I do have a box, a sh kind of a shallow box to catch overspray. Okay, what did I... Do I want this coppery one or... Tarnished brass... Hmm. Maybe I can afford to do both. Okay, what does it say? Shake bottle into a mixing bowl, rattles and pigment is suspended like we spray directly onto the surface. Okay, and I don't think I'm adding water. Maybe I should open this paper up a bit, protect more of my area here. I don't need to coat my keyboard and everything. Oh, see, I didn't attach anything over there. That's okay. Okay, so the paint is suspended in the liquid. Did I hit the target at all? I got a lot over here. There's, yeah, I can see it. I wonder, am I pushing my luck if I try this one as well, the tarnished brass? Or, whoops, or would it be good walnut stain? May irritate eyes in case of eye keep out of reach. Oh, shake well side to side. Oh, side to side. Spray directly on porous surfaces. Mist water reactive formulation for to enhance oxidization. Maybe I'll try one light spritz and see what happens. It almost feels as though Ooh. Do I like that? Where's my little Let's wick this up if we can. That didn't exactly work, did it? Brother. 
I think I need to use a smaller bottle because that sure seems like it saturates. And it did nothing to. Hmm. Okay, don't like that. It's unfortunate. Now, one last thing to try before I let you guys go and before I probably call this a day, although who knows, I may revisit it after I have another look at it. Do I dare, do I dare Okay, do I dare try one of these? Great for chalkboard, dry erase boards, windows, glass, mirrors, ceramic, and metal. Oh, that's very thick. And it's, oh, I thought it would be more like a, you know, like a Sharpie. Well, this is going to be, okay, this is. But gold is sort of the last, the least likely color here. And this is orange. Now the other thing I didn't bring, but I could, still could, Hmm. It's gonna say it's black. Maybe if I do it like a very sort of Apache, uh, you know, kind of uh, broken. sketchy line as opposed to oh look she made lines so I'm just randomly adding some in both directions And if it turns out that, ooh, that was a bad choice, bad decision, I could always um, go over it with black or something. Now, I don't want to be overly critical because I think on many levels this is working. But I don't know, to be honest, if that really did anything. <laughs> I mean, it, it added one more thing, but did it? That's blue. That's blue. Oh. This is black. Sorry, guys. I need to look at it myself. Maybe by repeating a black line beside the orange one and adding it in, in a couple other places. Probably doesn't help that I'm not letting any of this any of this dry. I think it it does help to add the marks because then it it seems to reinforce the fact that. Oh, this is a series of squares. That's why they look the way they do. So there, I kind of created like a shadowy type thing. 
So we can see, oh yeah, that's an intersection of, of corners there. Pull a little down here, a little down here, a little down here. I'm either going to wreck the tip of this pen. You know, uh, it's my custom. Here's the line. It is my custom to. Um, sit with these things I usually prop them up across from across the room from me so that well I can stare at them from a distance but also so that I can forget they're there and then all of a sudden you know just in the catch a glimpse and think oh I see it needs such and such or it need or you know, there's a problem there, or that's genius. So I'm going to put this somewhere to flatten out a little better. Let everything continue to dry because some of this is still looking wet. I'll just angle it a couple different ways so you can see the sort of the mica spray. I like it. At this moment, I like it. I just don't know if it's going to need something a little... Oh, these are such poor scissors. for. I use them for everything, but they're not the greatest for fine fabric stuff. Yeah, I'm going to sit with this and see what happens. I hope that this gives you the uh, desire to try something similar. It's, you know, it's relatively quick and can be a lot of fun and, and just another way to use up a whole bunch of things. I didn't get to use up the kitchen sink, but... Hey, there's always next time. I'm just wondering if this, oh, would this be cute? Or that's just as kitschy as a gem. Or what about this? That maybe is the least offensive to me. <laughs> or I could just leave well enough alone. How's that for a concept? Anyway, I don't know. See that? This this kind of works for me because it, it's not in your face. And if I offset it, I'm doing that. If I offset it, it's less, it doesn't look like, oh, she was trying to make a flower for a center for the flower. Isn't that uh, original? <laughs> in air quotes. Uh, Okay, have the clock right side up, have it off center, and I'm happy. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you again tomorrow. I hope that you try something like this yourself. It is fun. Uh, and if you don't have a, a square punch of whatever size, then by all means, just, you know, measure it out with a ruler and a pencil and and you know that's one of the easy or just even take it to your cutter paper cutter and chop off a few um interesting papers create your your background and then have fun playing as you as you decorate it anyway thanks guys see you tomorrow bye